So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We are asked to add or subtract the rational expressions. In order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must have a common denominator or like denominators. Notice for both of these examples, we do have like denominators. In order to add or subtract rational expressions with like denominators, the denominator remains the same, and we add or subtract the numerators. So for the first example, when we find the sum, the denominator remains 7x squared, and the numerator is going to be the quantity 6x plus 7 plus the quantity 3x minus 7. And now we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. If it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here as well as here to clear the parentheses, which will not change any signs. Again, the denominator remains 7x squared, and the numerator is 6x plus 7 plus 3x minus 7. And now we combine like terms. 6x plus 3x is 9x, and 7 minus 7 is 0. The numerator simplifies to 9x, and the denominator remains 7x squared. But notice how we can simplify here, because we have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator. If it's helpful, we can write 9x as 9 times x, and 7x squared as 7 times x times x, so that we can see the common factor of x. And x divided by x simplifies to 1, and therefore the simplified sum is just 9 divided by 7x. Let's look at the second example, where again we already have a common denominator of 5y. When we find the difference, the denominator remains 5y, and we subtract the numerators, which gives us the quantity 3y squared plus 4 minus the quantity negative 3y squared plus 4. And now we clear the parentheses and combine like terms. If it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here, and because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one here. One times the quantity 3y squared plus 4 is 3y squared plus 4. And now distributing negative one, we have negative one times the negative three y squared, which is positive three y squared, giving us plus three y squared. And then we have negative one times positive four, which is negative four, giving us a minus four. Now combining like terms in the numerator, three y squared plus three y squared is six y squared, and then four minus four is zero. The expression simplifies to six y squared divided by five y. And again, this does simplify because there's a common factor of y between the numerator and denominator. If it's helpful, we can write 6y squared as 6 times y times y, and 5y as 5 times y. Here we can see the common factor of y between the numerator and denominator. y divided by y simplifies to 1, and therefore the simplified difference is just 6y over 5. I hope you found this helpful.